You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Hey, welcome back to Bermuda Grad Central. This is BYD. Look, a lot of times you have weak spots or dead spots or spots in your lawn that just, they just, you, you can't get that bare spot to fill in. Well, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use with li liquid nitrogen to try to boost that spot up. And it starts right here. All right, y'all fanatics, look. I know you guys remember this. I did a video, one of my most popular videos. I think it has like 20 million views right now. <laughs> Somewhere close to that. But anyway, we're gonna use this liquid nitrogen which is actually lawn food made by miracle Grow. It contains like 36% nitrogen, uh, zero phosphorus, and 6% um, potash. All right, and you guys wanna welcome our new spread to the family, um, the Chapin Home Pro. Like I said, I got a, a few videos where I tell you how to save money on buying these things. This is a $30 sprayer, and there should be a link well, not a link, a picture right in the corner showing you how much I paid for it. I only paid $7.50. Click on that link that you see up there, and it's just a video showing you how I save money during the off-season buying sprayers and other products, okay? But these particular two things right here, we added two gallons of water, and we're following the directions on that. We're only going to add one tablespoon per gallon. So we're going to add two tablespoons to this, which is a two-gallon sprayer. Guys, if you want to add lawn dye, that's fine, but I recommend that you don't because we're going to force a lot of liquid into the ground in these particular spots to try to get these stolons and rhizomes to actually run towards that spot and sprout up. The stolons are spread across it, the rhizomes will start coming from up under it, and this is how we're going to try to fill in some of these spots. Now, a lot of times you got to look and check and see what's wrong with that spot. You may have trash, rocks, um, all kinds of stuff up under there, actually preventing that grass from growing there. Or you can have just a layer of a thatch that you need to move away that's matted to the ground. All right, so let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, yard fanatics, look, we got a spot right here on the ground. And look, I wanna show you something before we do this. This is one of those spots where I put that sand, and you can see it. Other spots where I put the sand, it started to fill in, and actually, you can see where it actually started to fill in there. But the reason I broke it up, cause I just wanna show you a lot of times, this is what you're looking at. If you look at this soil, you see that's some good soil right there. Up under there, we got a lot of red clay. If you look closely, see if you can zoom in on that BYD Junior. Zoom in on that, can you zoom in on those roots? All right, if you look closely, you can see those roots that actually came through that down into that soil right there. But we're still having a slow issue with it spreading. If you look at it right here, you see that right there? See those? Those, those stolons. And actually, that's a rhizome that was up on the ground right there. And it actually pushed the stolon up to the top that actually started spreading. But guys, what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna find these spots in our lawn and we're gonna force a lot of liquid down into it with the hopes of that the surrounding area, the stolons that are coming across the top and the rhizomes that are coming from the from the bottom down here will run, be attracted to this particular spot because there's going to be a lot of nutrients in one particular spot versus us just doing the whole entire yard and everything's getting fed equal. All right. So let's go ahead and let me show you how that's done. Okay, guys, yard fanatics, look, this is like a weak spot. One thing you can do is just kind of easily just rake that that thatch away from that. You see how I did that? We cleared that out right there. All right. And look at that. We got a runner going across there, but that runner look like it's dead. So we're going to try to boost this area up. And as I'm hitting it, guys, I don't know if you can hit it. 
but I actually hit a rock or something. See? This is one of those things that are keeping my rhizomes from coming up. So sometimes you can take a knife or whatever, a screwdriver, and poke it down in there, and you can hit, I hit that. So now next treatment, since we removed that rock, is to go ahead and take our pump sprayer. <clears throat> I already got it pumped up, and I'm gonna force a lot of liquid into this one spot. Guys, you don't have to worry about this burning or hurting your grass or anything. It's the um, miracle Grow lawn food. I mean, it's pretty safe, it's water soluble. And that's, that's it, you see that spot? I just forced a whole bunch of nitrogen down in there. Hopefully the roots and all that around it, rhizomes and stolons will start trying to run to that area. If you feel forced that spot, kind of spray around it also. All right, so what you end up doing now it's basically just walking your lawn and finding spots. Like you may have some um, brown patch or something like that. Anything that's kind of weak, you just spray it like that. All right, let's find another weak spot. Uh, you see this area right here? That's the area I, I put that sand in. I think that was what, about two months ago. So you see it filled in, still looks a little weak. This particular miracle grow is supposed to make your lawn thick, gur, and, and spots, excuse me, make it thicker. So we're gonna spray that particular spot. And then we're gonna spray around it. Now guys, there are other means or other things that you can do to fix this issue, but I'm just showing you some, some little simple tricks that BYD uses from time to time. Um, right here, we got another spot. <clears throat> and I don't know if you can look, but I see a lot of runners right there. That's another sand spot, but we're gonna force a lot of liquid. Into that area to try to boost it up. And like I said, once I feel like I'm satisfied, we'll spray my liquid. All right, then I come around and I catch the border to help initiate that runner um, initiation to try to make them run over towards it. That heavy liquid induction into the ground. <clears throat> the stolons up under it should try to come and run up in it. Okay guys, look, we got a few more spots that I would wanna do. I'm not gonna make a four hour video out of this. I mean, I would, I would love to, but not today but that's a weak spot just fill, fill it in with liquid like that i don't know if you can zoom in on that byd so they can get down you may have to bring the camera down to the ground so they can actually see it now get closer get real close <clears throat> all right and then you see how i'm spraying it y'all see that liquid fill it in all right then you just spray around all right guys and that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just a little small trick that I use from time to time. Um, we get customers' lawns or whatever, and you don't want to dig it up to try to do that stolen thing. Uh, but guys, just remember one thing. You are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.